Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Henschel here today to share with you all of the details, the things that you need to know about this year's Acuity Cool Picks Teen Summer Reading Program 2020. The Teen Summer Reading Program runs from May 18th through September 4th, so it is already going on now. You can get signed up and get started with your summer reading program today before school even ends for the school year. How exciting is that? Honestly, I think you can probably tell from my voice that I am excited. I love the public library summer reading programs just about more than anything else. To me, this is one of the most wonderful times of the year. And not just because summer is approaching, but because of the summer reading program and all of the great reading that you can do and the fabulous things that you can earn just by doing a little reading, which is something that you're going to do anyway, right? That's what I thought. All right, so here's what you need to know. Mead Public Library Summer Reading Program, the teen summer reading program, is free. It does not cost you anything to sign up. I know that I love things that are free, and many of you are in the same boat with me, so if that's you, then this summer reading program is for you. The teen summer reading program is for students who will be entering grades six through 12 this fall. So whatever grade you're entering into the fall, that's how you determine that if you are eligible to sign up for the teen summer reading program. Now, high school seniors, that does not mean that you cannot sign up for the summer reading program if you would like. It just means that you're gonna be signing up for the adult summer reading program because you're over the age of 18. Yes, there is a summer reading program at Mead Public Library for adults. I myself sign up for it every year. A couple of years ago, I was one of the grand prize winners for the adult summer reading program. And of course, there's a, a summer reading program available for younger students as well. So if you have younger brothers or sisters or nieces and nephews or cousins, and you are wondering about what they can do over the summer months, you can get them signed up for a summer reading program for elementary school age children and toddlers. You are going to sign up online at the Mead Public Library website listed on the screen using your public library card. You do not have to go into the public library to get signed up. In fact, right now, Mead Public Library is still only offering curbside um, pickup for, of materials, so you can't go in. But you can get signed up online. All you need is a public library card that is registered to you personally, not to your parents, not to a sibling, but to you personally. Now, that public library card could be one for Mead Public Library. It could be a library card for a different public library in Sheboygan County. Maybe it's for the bookmobile. Doesn't matter what library it's for, as long as you have an active public library card, you can get signed up for the Mead Summer Reading Program. If you do not have a, an active library card, you may register for one online by visiting Mead Public Library or calling them for assistance. You can do this entire process online as well. You do not have to go in to get a library card. So that's really nice and fast and easy for you. Now, once you are signed up for the teen summer reading program, you keep track of the books that you read and complete a brief report online for every single book that you read. And again, the program runs now through September 4th. Oh, okay, fine. What do I have to read, Mrs. Henschel? Well, you really don't have to read anything. Although, I really hope you will. Reading is a great way to have different experiences, to travel to different places, to think of things in a different way than maybe we have before. So, no, you don't have to read anything this summer, but I know that many of you will. And you might as well get some sort of credit for it, right? Now, you may choose to read books or ebooks, right? A, a book on your device, including the books that you borrow using Sora through our digital library at the school district. Our digital library does not shut down at the end of the school year in June. It keeps going. It's available to you 24-7, 365. You could choose to listen to audiobooks. Yes, listening to an audiobook 
counts as reading it for the summer reading program, which is really amazing. So when your parents are making you do chores this summer that you'd rather not be doing, maybe that's washing the dishes, maybe that's mowing the lawn, maybe that is cleaning your room. You can listen to an audiobook and have that count. You could read graphic novels, sometimes also called comic books. That counts as well. Now, come on, why would I want to sign up? I have a job, I want to hang out with my friends, I want to play video games, I want to watch a bunch of things on Netflix, I'm planning on doing some Netflix binge watching. Why would I want to sign up for the summer reading program? Sounds lame. Well, you earn chances to win prizes for every single book that you read. And every three books you read earns you another entry into the grand prize drawing of your choice. Okay, fine. It's free, and I like prizes. I like free rewards. What might I be eligible for? Okay, so for every book that you read, your name is entered into the prize drawing of your choice. Now, past year's prizes included different book bundles, gift cards to businesses like All of You 426, GameStop, Marcus Cinemas. There's lots of different options for these smaller prize packages. And every three books you read earns you another ticket for the grand prize drawing, up to 30 books. So you can get up to 10 entries into the grand prize drawing for the Acuity Cool Picks Teen Summer Reading Program. Now, some of the grand prizes include an Xbox One, a Nintendo Switch, an LCD HD TV, a Kindle Fire HD, lots of different options, awesome prizes. And every year it seems that we have at least one or two students from Howard's Grove that end up being um, prize winners. So this year, it could be your turn. Now, if you have any questions, you can contact Mrs. Henschel, that's me, at my email address through the school district, or you can contact Mead Public Library directly with questions or any issues that you might have signing up for the program. It's just that easy. Now, I am going to exit this slideshow here so I can show you briefly how you get signed up for the Mead Public Library Summer Reading Program. You go to the Mead Public Library website and you click on this banner here on the homepage where it says, Imagine Your Story Summer Reading Program. Click to sign up. This opens a new window and it talks about all three programs, the, the program for kids through grade six, the program for teens and the adult summer reading program as well. Then over here on the right hand side where it says how it works, this is where you get signed up. It says register online here. You need to put your age in. So maybe I'm 13 years old. I'm going to enter that in honestly and then it asks me what program I want to sign up for. Well, I want the teen program because I don't want to sign up for the kids program and win a lame prize. Then I click continue. Now I need to input some information. It asks for my first name, my last name, my phone number, my email address, my city where I live, so Howard's Grove, or if you have an Elkhart Lake address, you would put that in, and your zip code. All right. Then you need to go down here and answer these questions. All right, primary library, what's your home library? So if it's Bookmobile, you would select Bookmobile. Then you need to input your library card number. On the back of your public library card, underneath the barcode, there is a very long series of numbers. My public library number is 14 digits long. You enter all of those numbers in the correct order. Then they ask for your school name. So you click on this drop down menu and you scroll until you find Howard's Grove Middle School, if you're in the middle school, or Howard's Grove High School, if you're in the high school, and you select that. Then you select the grade that you're going to be in in the fall. I'm going to be in eighth grade in the fall, and then you need to choose your grand prize option. Which one of these grand prizes would you want to win? Then you need to type in your library card number, the same one that you typed up here, again. This is going to be your username to log into the program to um, record the books that you've read. 
and then you need to choose a password. Now, you may choose to use your library PIN number. Your PIN number is the last four digits of your phone number that's associated with your library card. So you could choose that or you could choose a different password. Then you will click continue and this will successfully sign you up for the program. Then all you need to do is every time you read another book, you come back here to this page. Well, actually you go to the Mead Public Library page, click on this banner to come back here. You log in where it says log in, and then you will input the book that you've read. Simple, easy, it will tell you, the system will tell you, or the Mead Public Librarians will call you if you have won a prize. I hope that all of you are healthy and well. I miss seeing you in the library every single week. I can't wait to see all of you again in the fall and hear about the wonderful books that you've been reading throughout the summer months. And hopefully I'll be able to hear about the prizes that you won through the Mead Public Library Acuity Cool Picks Summer Reading Program for Teens. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later. Bye.